So now that we've seen a few examples of using the product rule, let's go ahead and apply it. And we're going to apply it in the same situations that we've applied it before. So in my example here, they give us a function, and we want to find the equation of the tangent line when x naught is equal to 1. So we know when we want to come up with the equation of a line, we can either use the y equals mx plus b formula, or my preference, the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 formula, where x1, y1 is a point, and my m is the slope. The only thing that we know at this specific time is my x value because that was given. My x value is given as 1. So we're going to have to do some extra work here to come up with what our slope is going to be and to come up with our y value. And we can start with either one. Let's go ahead and start with our y value. So if we want our y value when x was equal to 1, then all we have to do is plug 1 into our equation each and every time we see an x. So we have 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 1 times 2 minus 1. So in my first parentheses, my 1 squared and my negative 1 cancels out, leaving me with 3. And my 2 minus 1 leaves me with 1. So that tells me that my y value is 3. So that's what I can substitute in for there. OK. Now I need to come up with my slope, or my m value. And we know that we can do that by doing the derivative. The derivative gives us the slope. So we have this equation here, where it is a multiplied equation. So that means we should be using the product rule. So the derivative of this is equal to the original of the second times the derivative of the first. So let me do that derivative. x squared gives me 2x plus 3x. The derivative of that gives me 3. The derivative of my constant is 0. So the original of the second times the derivative of the first plus the original of the first times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of the second is a negative 1. So let's go ahead and simplify this. We need to FOIL my first out. 2 times 2x gives me 4x. Outside gives me a 6. Inside gives me a negative 2x squared. And last gives me a negative 3x. Here, let me distribute this negative 1. Basically, that changes the signs of my second polynomial there. Negative x squared minus 3x plus 1. Combining like terms and writing it in descending order. Negative 2x squared minus x squared gives me a negative 3x squared. 4x minus 3x minus 3x gives me a negative 2x. And my constant 6 plus 1 gives me 7. So this is my derivative. Now we want to use that to find the slope. So I do dy dx evaluated when my x naught value is equal to 1. So I substitute 1 in for every place I see an x. So that tells me that I have negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5, plus 7 is 2. So my dy dx evaluated at x naught equal to 1 gives me 2. So what this here gives me is what my slope is. So therefore, we found our slope to be 2. All right, all I have to do is simplify this here, and that will give me my equation of my tangent line. So let me distribute the 2 on the right, and then move my 3 over. So we have come up with the equation of the tangent line to be y equals 2x plus 1. We can always double check this by using the graphing calculator, and I always encourage you to do so. Why not guarantee yourself a correct answer? So we can check all three of these things individually. We can check our y value individually, as well as our slope individually. But hopefully, if everything works out, then that gives us the correct equation of the tangent line. So let's go ahead and just check that. That way, we don't have to check the other parts individually. If there's something wrong with the equation of the tangent line, then I would encourage you to check the other parts first. 
the Y value, and or the slope. So the first thing that I do is I substitute in my original equation, x squared plus 3x minus 1, and that is multiplied by 2 minus x. So that was my original equation. I also need to substitute in my tangent line, which we came up with 2x plus 1. And so let's go ahead and see what the graph looks like on our standard window. So the blue was my original equation. And the green was my tangent line. Now that looks like it is an appropriate tangent line, but we want to confirm that it's at the right place. We want to make sure that tangent line is at 1. So the easiest way to do that is just push the trace button and then type in your x value, and ours was given as x is equal to 1. That confirms that we came up with the right y value, and that confirms that our tangent line and our graph intersect at the correct place. And since they have the same slope there, that confirms that we have the correct tangent line as well. So it looks like we did come up with the correct answer. Here is where I'm going to end this video, and in the next video, I'm going to be doing another example of a tangent line problem, but this one's new. This is one that's going to ask you to do something that we haven't quite yet done.